Hello everyone, this is General and welcome back to another Let's Play Cities in Motion. So, I have played another hour and 15 minutes of this game, uh, adding additional lines of tra or modes of transportation. So you can see here that I, actually let's see, where is the lines? There we go. So, there are currently five different types of transportation methods that you can build around the city. And since the last video, I actually added a a tram station, which you can see here. There's actually two different lines. The, actually, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit so it's a little bit less hectic. Oh wait, I'm not pausing. I'm gonna just press play, and you can see that this is the Lewis and Vero X, which is one of the types of trams. And this is kind of away from road traffic, as you can see, it's kind of in the avenue for the grass here. So you can see that that old lady is going to take this train, potentially, nope, not anymore, this train is actually broken down. But, more or less, I try to keep these guys away from road traffic, but when I do... But when I do need to, I actually just have it kind of go away from my bus lines, as you can see here. The red line denotes the tram lines, and we kind of have it you know, more or less in parallel with the bus lines denoted by the blue. And then we go over here so we can see the scenic view of the, the, the ocean. And then the Golden Gate Bridge, we go right under it, around, make a stop right here so we can utilize the parking garage. And then we come back. And then the other line's more or less the same, however I do kind of have it more rather the stops are much further apart so you can see here there's one for this line but not for the other so it just its first stop is like right over here so I try to vary the coverage so that you know traffic doesn't get stuck and this is like it's a perfect place to have it because you can just kind of avoid most of the road traffic and this is a small side street so that is perfect and then I also added Helicopters! Oh yes! Well, here we go to Fort Mason Green and we have a helicopter and we also have a hot air balloon. And so that basically covers the eastern portion. So one stop right here and then it goes to our favorite baseball stadium right here. So you can go to the game in style riding a hot air balloon or a helicopter and then it goes to the airport in case you need to get out of the city and you know there's a bus stop here as we've seen before and the metro is still here caterpillar line and also the other awesome line right there and let's check our company overview the Oda Corp is currently in year 2040 2041 the reports were 2040 and we're doing pretty good. You can see that we sold a bunch of vehicles, but we carried 16,000 or well, 17,000 passengers more or less. 73% coverage, and the value has increased considerably since the last time, or like an hour ago. And we have some fires and collisions, but that's not important, right? We also added a waterworks, <laughs> a waterway over here, which also connects to the baseball stadium right here. And it only has four stops, so you can see the different vehicles. We currently have the Tokyo Sakura, which is pretty awesome. You can actually, I'm not actually going to buy two more vehicles, but you can see that 4% likelihood of breaking down. So that's pretty good. 45%, I mean 45 passenger capacity. And it more or less just kind of goes through the riverways and a oh, nice scenic view if you want to take the the waterway over here. And what else did I add since then? I think I added maybe one more one more bus line to kind of cover this area. Let's see. Yeah, we have we definitely have more coverage in the city. Actually, if I check the info map, you can see the service usage. And you can see like which buildings are using it the most, like this college is utilizing it. But but maybe it could be use it utilizing it more because it's orange. But the airport. The airport loves public transportation. You get the 
You get a helipad, you also get a bus, and also the metro over here. And the baseball stadium, definitely. This building, the Transamerica Pyramid. Oh yeah! This commercial building music utilizes it quite a lot as well. And we just have a whole bunch of stuff here. Alright, so you can see we probably need more trams. As they get pretty full pretty quickly. So if we go here, you know, I'm looking at Northwest Tram over here, and I can actually get, let's see, manage my vehicles. I like to keep them consistent, so if I'm gonna get the Lewis and Viral, I'll just get, you know, four more. We're fairly profitable. Okay, never mind, we're not profitable anymore, but we were <laughs> earlier. So we're losing money, I'm not entirely sure on what. So let's see. Ah, uh, vehicle maintenance is very expensive. Energy. Helicopters. Oh, right, I purchased a bunch of vehicles, that's why the profit is so skewed off. But otherwise, we're generally making money. Another thing I want to show you guys is kind of like the different graphs that, they're, that they have. You have the economic graph, population for some reason is just kind of staggered, hasn't actually grown. But, let's see, more importantly, we want to look at the different lines of rail, or different lines of transportation. Let's see, we have the bus lines here. And what's cool is you can actually sort by how many passengers each bus that you have has carried. So over here, you know, 8400, you know, distance it's traveled, how much electricity it's used, passenger capacity, what line it's on, why is it more, you know, profitable than others, kind of, kind of like that, that you can infer from. And you can also do that for the other lines as well. So over here, you know, the trams are hitting the, almost the thousands. Metro is doing really well, 10,000 for like one of the trains, which is pretty ridiculous in itself. And then you have the waterways, which is carrying a decent amount. We also added additional vehicles in that, and not too much in the helicopter, but I mean that's to be expected. So, let's see. Another cool thing is you can actually see what stop is the most popular over here, like I said before in the previous video parking lot is very very important. Right here we have 53,000 just for the bus stop alone. And then if we look at the you know transit rail this one is probably let's see right here so 8,000. 8, 8, so that's not too bad and then you also have these other ones right here. Okay well that's all I really want to show you kind of like the statistics behind it or you know the stats currently right now. And how awesome this city looks. The city of San Francisco. Okay, well, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.